Welcome back to the show. According to CNN's trusty countdown clock, the world will be ending on Friday. <laughs> so if you're looking for a roadmap to the road, it might help to talk to someone who's walked it before. Russian author and dissident Masha Gessen knows autocracy firsthand. I originally spoke with her before I visited Moscow, which was before our election. And she had some reassuring words about a potential Trump presidency. I feel like we're staring into an abyss. Now that we're actually plummeting into that abyss, I sought out Masha again for more of her comforting insights. This time, I took her to the only place I feel truly safe. Hey, Julie D. My subterranean panic room. Uh, this way. Come on in. Have a seat. Thank you. Do you care for a soup? I've been coming in here and stress eating quite a bit. Not much left. So I guess my first question is, what is the recipe for successfully resisting an autocracy? I get asked that a lot. Mm -hmm. So? You know, I had to flee my country. Okay. Most efforts to successfully resist that I know of failed. Well, thanks for joining us for another edition of Bunker Talk with Samantha B. Today's guest was, hmm, I should ask her another question. What are your biggest worries about the incoming Trump administration? Oh, my biggest worry is a nuclear holocaust. Thanks again for joining us for Bunker Talk with Samantha B. If miraculously we avoid that, okay. then, you know, he's certain to do irreparable damage to the environment that will make the survival of the human species impossible. I thought you were gonna kinda like ease me into it. Just the tip at first. But there's very little we can do. So I stick to little things like the impossibility of going on to democracy after Trump. Where are we in the whole downfall of America thing? I mean, can you show me on this chart where rock bottom is? So let's say this little mark here represents, you know, in the primaries talking about creating a Muslim registry. Okay. A little bit downhill from there. Mexicans are rapists. And then, of course, grab them, grab them by the pussy. Just get another page. I'm gonna need more paper. What low points do you expect to see in our near future? Well, he's going to lift the sanctions against Russia. He's gonna start banning one newspaper after another from the White House. He is going to start thinking about wars. He is going to go to the Putin model of holding one press conference a year. Hold on a second. Jesus. Okay, are we at rock bottom yet? No, no, no. So suppose some cities refuse to cooperate with deportations. Mm -hmm. So he calls on the American people to start reporting immigrants. I think that's that's when we start getting into really disgusting territory. Is that rock sets, bottom? No, no, that's not rock bottom. But that will be the beginning, you know, of a culture of citizen against citizen. Okay, so that's rock bottom, and then we bounce back. So there's a Russian joke. We thought we had hit rock bottom, and then someone knocked from below. I'm sure that joke's funnier in the original Russian, just as Trump's pronouncements would likely sound better screamed in German. And speaking of Trump speaking... In this way, he's very similar to Putin. He uses language to assert his power over reality. Mm -hmm. What he's saying is, I claim the right to say whatever the hell I please. And what are you gonna do about it? It's hard for me to believe that he has the cunning to be perpetrating this intentionally. It's it's instinctual. It's you know, it's what it's a bully in a playground. Okay. You know, it's like imagine the little kid who says to you, you know, give me my pencil box back and he says, I don't have your pencil box, but it's right there in mm -hmm. your right hand. There's nothing in my right hand. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what he's doing. The point is not so much to take your pencil box, it's 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 to render you completely powerless. Because everything you know how to do which is to say, it's right there, it's right there, is useless. And you look foolish, no matter what. You don't come out cool. And you don't get your box back either. Meaning the box that Trump grabbed, the one containing a functioning democracy. And also meaning your vagina box. Is there anything that I personally can do to resist? The thing I think to do, um, and this is my recipe, is to actually to continue panicking, to continue to be sort of the hysteric in the room and to keep saying, this is not normal. I can stay hysterical. Good, good. <laughs> keep doing that and just remember why you're panicking. Write a note to yourself about what you would never do. Okay. And when you come to the line, don't cross it. Okay. What if Ivanka wants to come on your show? Ivanka? No. 
Why, do you think she'd do it? <laughs> she asking about me? Masha and I had an extensive and encouraging conversation. Really, it's the nuclear holocaust that I'm worried about. Oh, <laughs> there it is again. All right, I am never leaving this room. Thank God we have Sting here in the bunker to keep us company and serenade us. Hey, you sing that song for her, she'll love it. I hope the Russians love their children too. You know, that's not really Sting, right? Well, if that's not Sting, then who have I been having tantric sex with?